Well, it's time now to bring you another creative woodworking project in this week's edition of JAY DIY. And we've been loving hearing all of the feedback on this series on our What's New Facebook page. So we decided that this week's creation would be inspired by one of our viewers. It's a project that's simple enough, but does require a little attention to detail. So JAY DIY is sort of expanding. We found a space here in the WKYC workshop, and that's where I'm gonna be doing my DIY projects. And to kick things off in the new workspace, we're starting with a really cool project that comes from one of our viewers. I got in the mail a box that had these picture frames, which you can see attached, but there was no note with it, just the frames from one Frank Mungo. So Frank, thank you. There were no instructions either, so I actually had to do a little reverse engineering and drew up some pretty simple plans. Here's what you'll need if you wanna give it a shot at home. The biggest thing is one eight foot long by one and a half inch wide, three quarter inch thick piece of thick and solid wood. Pine probably won't work here because we have to make some pretty intricate cuts. You'll also need your saw, liquid nails, a power sander and sanding pads, along with wood clamps, plus plexiglass pieces and a cutter for inside the frames. For starters, we're gonna need four pieces that are eight and three quarters inches long. So I've made my first mark. Once I cut my first piece, I'll go ahead and use that as my guide on my saw so I make sure all four pieces are exactly the same length. We're also gonna need to cut two pieces that are six and three quarters inches and two that are five inches long. Now the cuts really get intricate. We have to cut grooves on the sides of many of these, and we also have to leave tabs and cut slots on the other pieces for our tongue and groove construction. Now you can see how I'm starting to take more of this away. Eventually, it will leave my tab. Once your bottom is attached to your sides, repeat the process all the way around three sides of the frame, leaving the top unfinished for now. Yesterday I had to do some work that wasn't on camera. Basically all I did was put some wood glue inside the grooves, then I used clamps to hold these tight. Now they're full, they're together, everything's good. Those tabs we left on the side pieces will hold our top pieces together. So I'm gonna cut pieces for each side to glue onto these tabs that will complete the picture frame. And once your tops are cut, Use your liquid nails, once again, to glue your final pieces together, clamp, and let dry. All that's really left to do is to cut my plexiglass to encase the picture. I'm gonna need two pieces for each frame, one for either side of the picture. In this case, we're cutting our plexiglass four and five eighths inches by six and a half inches. One tip when you cut your plexiglass, they come with a plastic coating on each side. That's to keep them from getting scratched while you're cutting it. Now that mine is cut, I'll peel it off, nice and clean, no scratches, good to go. And to finish it all off, you'll add your hooks, stain your wood, and hang them together. And there you have it, a great set of frames courtesy of viewer Frank. Thanks for the suggestion, Frank, and keep them coming. 